Hi, my name is Henrik Voss. I'm the product manager for the electronic control system from ARRI. I want to share some news with you. We have a new universal motor controller. The UMC4 controls three lens motors for focus, iris and zoom. Uh, for example, with the wireless compact unit WCO4 hand unit. And what's special about it is that it includes the ARRI LDS lens data archive. That means that box here can generate lens data for any lens with any camera. And it can show this lens data on the WCO4 hand unit, which is very useful because you know your depth of field information or you, for example, can do the focus mapping to pre-marked focus rings. But uh, you can also do focus tracking when you use the system. Focus tracking is basically letting the focus motor follow the measured distance of a ultrasonic distance measure like a cine tape or the UDM-1. So you can activate the focus tracking by pushing the user button. When you do that, the focus motor will actually drive to the measured distance, just as I'm showing it here. Now the lens data, as I just said, is very helpful on set, but it can also be useful on, in post-production because uh, you want to match your virtual lens to the real lens that was used on set. Therefore, you want to know how your lens was set when you, when you were recording the shot. Um, so you can record the lens data with the UMC4 onto SD card to make it available for post-production. And of course, you have to find a way to match the data with the image data. And that we do that with a time code. So the UMC4 also includes a time code clock and you can jam sync it um, from an external uh, source or use just directly an external time code source uh, and then record the lens data with the time code. You can also set up some additional information which camera it is so that you can really identify the, the data files later in post-production and can match them to the images. So, as you know, there are situations where you really want a very slim and lightweight setup and every gram counts, for example, on a, on a drone, on a camera drone, on a Steadicam setup, and you want a really small and lightweight motor controller. So for that purpose, we have the single motor controller SMC1. It's uh, connecting to one controlled lens motor, and it drives, for example, the focus. The perfect counterpart to that is our single axis hand unit, so that's really a very slim, lightweight system for lightweight applications. The other mini motor controller we have here, that is the EMC1, the NG lens motor controller. It has a high rosy 12-pin connector, and it connects directly to lenses like the Fujinon Cabrio zooms. So you can connect the Fujinon Cabrio zoom directly with its cable to the EMC1, and then you can use, for example, the WCO4, to remote control, focus, iris, and zoom um, with the EMC1 motor controller. And you will also get metadata from the Cabrio zoom um, and see that on your, on your lens data display on the WCO4 hand zoom. Now let's talk about the connectors of the UMC4, because the UMC4 has many connectors and is a very versatile device. We have the three connectors on the right side here for focus, iris, and zoom. We have a RS in connector, so that's a power source, but it can also sync the lens data uh, capturing to uh, off speed frame rates of camera. Uh, we have the time code in and output, so you can jam sync or have an external time code through this connector, but you can also use the UMC4 as a time code source. Then down here we have the, the SD card slot for software updates, for lens files, or for recorded lens data files. And we have an Ethernet connection. And through the Ethernet connection, you can access the UMC4 remotely, for example, through a Wi-Fi access point, a small one that you can attach there. And you can, uh, for example, then download your recorded lens data files without touching uh, the UMC4 remotely uh, to a laptop, for example. Now, on the left side, we have the camera connectors supporting various serial protocols uh, for remote start-stop of uh, many cameras in the market. We have a CAN bus and we have two serial interfaces that, for example, connect to a UDM-1 or to a CineTape, like in this case. Now, the serial connector plate that connects to the Fujinon focus and zoom demands, or we have another plate for Canon uh, focus and zoom demands, so you can attach those demands directly uh, to the device and control focus and zoom 
on a, on a cine style uh, zoom lens. And last but not least, we have an antenna here, a very rugged outdoor antenna that um, that's reliable, has a good radiation pattern, to make sure that uh, you have a, a reliable and quality radio connectivity. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed. More information is on our website, ari.com slash ECS for electronic control system. Thank you.